change is coming. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want us to talk about ticker symbol NNOX nano imaging so this is a company that is based out of israel and they're trying to change the way we do imaging in the hospital as far as doing x-ray scans and all that stuff they're trying to change how we are going to do that moving forward remember how tesla came and said we're going to change how we power our cars it went from you know cars being powered by gasoline and, and, and petrol to now being powered by electric that is what Tesla did and see where Tesla's at today. So this company is looking at the current imaging system in our hospitals. It looks like this is so old, so bulky. We can come in and make it even more advanced and streamline it and make it smaller. A good example would be, think about uh, computers. Back in the days, in the early 80s like that, to have a computer, it would have a whole room to itself for you to own a computer because everything was so massive. But fast forward today, it was shrink down a computer to the point where you can actually hold it in the palm of your hand in the form of a cell phone. So this company is actually working on an excellent product, but I'm not just excited about the product, I'm super excited about the business model. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest, and how to build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget the tiny little notification bell right next to it so that when I post new videos, you'll be the first one to know. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, we both currently doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get two free stocks, not one, two. Value somewhere between $8 and $1,600 free of charge for you for using the platform. You're welcome. So let's talk about nano imaging. Let's take a look at this company and really see if this company is worth investing in or not. Let's jump right in. So here we go, guys. Um, once you uh, go to the website, you know, and then I think called Nanox. This is what it looks like. And um, basically, again, like I said, this is a company that is working to kind of replace what we currently do today when as far as um, x-ray. So they're developing more from um, a digital x-ray perspective. Today, we use analog x-rays and these guys are developing a digital x-ray. They think they've found the solution, the technology to not only improve that, but also make it so that the size is really small for, for people in hospitals to be able to accommodate them without their huge expense that our current system of um, x-rays does have. So um, that's one of the things I'm really super excited about is so again, the company is Nanox Technology. So they have this vision like, hey, we want to change the way we do x-rays. Like I said earlier, Tesla changed the way we, 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 we power cars and now these guys want to change the way we do x-rays. So if you go on their website, you can see a lot, um, some of the stuff about the solutions that they're looking at and then, you know, kind of make a decision. So you see some like this, this is the current system today, which is the analog system right here on the left. So this image on the left and then on the right here, the uh, Nanox, Art, that's how they call it. That is the digital system, which is what they're building. Relatively small footprint, which is awesome. And also it's gonna be affordable. Just for transparency, guys, this company hasn't manufactured this yet. This is a prototype. The goal is to actually go ahead and have a, a workable product so they can do a demo and get approval or from the FDA. So if they can do that, that's why I'm super excited about this company. So let's kind of jump in and take a look at their um, presentation that they have here so we can really tell um, more of the detailed stuff about this company. So this is their presentation. Um, just so again, it answers the question like, like what? So the what is, so Nanox aims to build a global infrastructure for medical imaging. So that is their goal. Not only are they trying to just build a product, but they're trying to do an infrastructure. And remember, I told you guys that the business model is one other thing that really intrigues me in. We're gonna talk about it. So the what is, again, build um, a global infrastructure for medical imaging. Then the need, you know, the, if you look at like across the globe, there is places, people that require 
medical imaging and they're not getting it so there's massive deficit of medical imaging system due to high system costs because for you to go into a remote village in a developing country and put a medical imaging system there it's just not feasible because first let me have power that's number one number two is very expensive and cumbersome so people end up having to travel thousands of miles to go get medical imaging so they, they, they're looking at ways to solve that right so two out of the two two third of the world's population has no access to medical imaging i mean if you think about it that is not good so uh, week and months of wait time for radiology and diagnostic results which is exactly uh, issue that we're facing today even in the developed world we still face that issue you can't just go the same day and get your results they usually will send them later to you so they're doing it so now what are they trying to solve they or how are they going to do it they're building this new technology so again they call it a game ch changing technology just like tesla was a game changing um you know car so they they're doing it they want to build it so going from what we currently have today, which is the analog X-ray, they're replacing it with the digital X-ray. So you would look at the size from the analog, which is massive, bulky, takes off so much room compared to um, what they're trying to build, which is a very small piece of equipment that you can actually hold in the palm of your hand. So here is the upcoming milestone, right? So the first one is we are targeting several near-term value catalysts such as FDA approver and commercialization. That's what they want to get to. So first one, deal sign FDA approver, first unit ship. Q1 of 2021. This is so this is coming up. So they're looking at Q1 of so that's early next year. You know, manufacturing ramp up global deployment. So they, they, they're thinking by 20 between 2021 and 2024 they want to have 15,000 units deployed and operational across the globe so that's that's good i love that they're they, they taking these bold steps because that's what elon Musk was saying too like he would like hey we want to you know be able to sell 5,000 cars and people were like how can you say that you haven't even made two cars yet but hey you know exactly what you want you go for it so disruptive business model guys i mentioned that this is the one thing that i really love about this uh this particular company the way they're going about medical screening as a service that is the business model that i just love and that's the way every company is going today you have software as a service you have infrastructure as a service you have platform as a service and now these guys are coming out with their medical um, uh, medical screening as a service which is awesome so you not only they're not just trying to like sell you a piece of equipment for you to go put in your hospital and then only they operate whatever you want no they are putting the piece of equipment there for you at no cost to you and then charge you per screen which is awesome so they would bring the equipment and say, show us where you want the equipment, fit it. They'll fit the equipment, they set everything up. All you have to do is just continue to do screens and they're charging you per screen. Man, I love the business model. It is really, really awesome. Because that, that way, you're not worried about, you know, people not buying. Because you're just putting there for free. People are using it and then just paying as you go. That is to me, I think it's a very brilliant business model. If they can successfully deploy it, that's a caveat. If they can successfully deploy it. So let's kind of take a look here real quick. Um, so early dictation is key, preventive health and all that good stuff. We're just going to go through that. Again, we talked about uh, how many people need, uh, you know, medical imaging in the world. This is the old system, which they're trying to replace. Again, it was, it's very, very expensive, complex, and very cumbersome. Now they're coming out with a very compact system, cheaper. A fundamental te technological change in X-ray source, which is good, will result in lower cost and smaller imaging size or systems, which is good, um, which we expect will enable significant higher availability for imaging services. Means business is going to boom. Pretty much is what I'm saying. Driving higher rate for medical prevention through early dictation, saving cost on medical 
okay that's awesome right and that's what we've always wanted now they go into details of the technology what goes into it i'm not going to read into all that um so here is the, the the product they're trying to build see here they're saying that hey it's big enough to fit in the size of your hand like a cell phone that is i mean to me that's great so you look at the old system the legacy tube costs about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars on an average compared to the uh, nanox which is going to cost you what a hundred dollars which is boy that is huge amount of savings so look at from this see how massive oh move too fast see how massive this is to this look at that the difference is so obvious so this to me this company has a brilliant space in the market if they can follow through to execute it i believe in this company so i already have it in my portfolio so again this is again some sort of the footprint that you see this is what the current system is takes takes up space in the hospital they're going to move to this little tiny thing that you see right here which is boy it's really good so um let's move on to this again samples of images they're taking this is the, the nanox arc 3d so this is what they anticipate building it's going to look something like this so their product is going to look like this so this is what they're trying to get the fda to approve this is it will be the first design in uh, nanox arc so it's going to look something like that which is awesome okay so again these are the steps that they're going through um to go through you know get approval from the fda and all the different things that needs to happen for them to actually go so most importantly um second point here says if clear we plan to deploy the first nanox, nanox arc in the first half of 2021 so um it's coming up here really really quick so just so people know so i hope that they can get you know get this thing out there so now this is the part that i really enjoy um let me move here uh, i think did we skip something no i'm gonna jump here so this is the part that i love the business model so this medical screening as a service msaas the, the beauty again like what i love about it is the fact that they're deploying the unit and then charging you per scan so business is always going to be available so if you look at it here with a simple example pricing model and minimum annual service fee so pay per scan which is it's a service business model remember most businesses are moving into service base or subscription base if you look at even some of the softwares that microsoft office you used to have installed on your computer now this is hey you can use it in the cloud and just pay a monthly fee you look at like illustrator uh, photoshop you used to be able to install it on your computer and use it for as long as you want today they want you to just have a subscription that you pay and use it on a monthly basis in the cloud so it's a very very smart business model and i I'm glad that these guys are going that route because it's really going to help them uh, in terms of revenue. So you see here, they run the numbers. Just going to show you what it, what you know it's going to come out to. So you're talking about so Nanox covers uh, I don't know what C A P E X investments for systems and deployment. So they cover at um, forty dollars total cost per scan as a global average based on current contracts. That's pretty good per scan. Nanox revenue. $14 out of the 40 per scan based on current contracts. So for every scan, they're getting a revenue of $14. Man, and I mean, just imagine that they're doing thousands of scans a day. That huge amount of money coming in. They, they, they deploy, if they plan on deploying 15,000 um, Nanox Arc in 20, between 2021 and 2024, huge amount of growth again these are the areas where you know our current contracts for deals wow 5150 units pending local regulatory approval so australia new zealand i mean you can read it so this is i mean they have something that people want they have so usa 3000 units korea vietnam 2500 units i'm loving it so again this is just kind of you know some of the customer profile and stuff like that. i'm not going to go into the, the depths of this um let's move down to um let's see okay this is one other area to the, the cloud system which is really great 
So you're talking about not only the system can scan you, but it can connect wirelessly to the cloud system and just upload those images to either your radiology specialist, to your hospital, or to your doctor, which is good. And because today you go, they do it. I don't know how they transmit the images, but it takes forever. If this can just go through the cloud, bam, 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 and you have it at your hospital, at your uh, medical doctor, um, when you show up, your doctor has your images good to go. I think that's really good. And then the team here, so if you see the, um, the CEO, founder and CEO, this is the guy that actually did, um, he invented, um, I think, this uh, wireless charger that we have today, if I, if I remember very, yes, right there, the founder of the wireless charging industry. So he's the guy that started it. So from a reputation standpoint, this dude has done something. He has proven that he knows what he's doing. The fact that he's the one that found uh, founded that wireless charging, he has a vision. So coming in into this and starting this, I don't think that he's setting up uh, for failure, I think it's setting up for success. So again, more people on the board, um, just kind of key financials. This is the part where I want to be very, 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 very clear with you guys. For uh, their finances, they really don't have anything to show because this again, this is kind of like a startup. They are still going out, raising capital and trying to get this thing out the door. So they don't really have any money to show uh, as far as you know, any sort of revenue because they don't have it. So, I mean, this is one way you're investing, not just investing because you invest investing because you see the vision. That's what, that's the way I looked at it. I'm looking four, five, 10 years down the road. I'm seeing that vision that what we have for X-Ray is very, very archaic. And so it's time for a new system. And these guys have figured it out. That's the vision I'm in. I'm investing in. So I'm not gonna look at the finance, the, the, the uh, financials here and be like, oh, they don't really have anything and then now it scared me from investing. No, I still, I'm still gonna invest. But again, that's me willing to take that risk. So ask yourself if that's something that you want to take, that's a risk that you wanna take before you even pull the trigger. Do your research, make sure that you kind of go through this, read this too, and make sure you understand what this is, the company is all about before you can even dare uh, put your money on the line. So again, this is um, my best part of this is uh, the business model. This is one of the, I mean, they're taken just out of the playbook of all these tech companies. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna help them in the long run a lot. So here you go guys, this is a company again, like I said, that is trying to change the way we do uh, medical imaging. So if you are somebody that's in this space, you probably understand this better than a lot of us that are just doing research and trying to catch up. But let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this whole idea of being able to change uh, how we do things mostly in the, from the past to the present. You think about Tesla, where they started and where they are today. I know you can say companies like Nikola Moto that came out and they're trying to do things too. They haven't done any product and so far, the things haven't been so good on them. You, companies like Theranos that came out with, you know, their nanotubes and stuff like that, that never pan out. That could be a scary thing, but this company trades publicly. And so again, if you look at the technology and where they're going, it, it sounds like something really good, but it's very, very high risk. They don't have it. They don't have the physical product yet. So this is a kind of a high risk, high reward investment. Again, if you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always guys, stay motivated.